What is going on, Mods Villains? Modsville, USA. Back again. Welcome. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the top five reasons why Hollywood doesn't want anything to do with Brendan Fraser. In other words, I want to be showing you how to copy games, disc games, onto your hard drive on your JTAG or RGH Xbox 360. So here we are in Aurora. Um, this is my personal Xbox 360. Uh, so it's a little bit more decked out than where we were last time. This is my hard drive. Um, but yeah, that doesn't change much. So there's two ways we're going to be doing this. Well, three. First, I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Aurora two different ways and then I'm going to be showing you how to do this in freestyle dash and there should be time stamps if not maybe somebody's left them in the comments um, but right out the bat I'm going to tell you that I recommend doing it in freestyle dash but in the just to be thorough we're going to do it um, three different ways so in Aurora which is our default dash if you've been following along, uh, we're going to hit back, file manager, and first, we should have a disk in there. So I'm going to pop a disk in real quick. All right, so I found an old copy of Modern Warfare. Oh, hey, that just happens to be where I'm hovering over. We've got Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare. As you can see, we got a checking disk going on. About a boom, Call of Duty 4, up in the top left corner. So we're going to hit back, go to File Manager, and as you can see, we got DVD right here. Now, it would be nice if you can just hold X on this to select, but you cannot. So we're going to open up DVD, and what we got to do is there's no select all which would be super nice but as far as I know there is no select all so let me know in the comments if you know a way to select all but I do not okay so what we're going to have to do is hit X on each individual item in the DVD folder. So we're going to be scrolling through for a while. Down X, 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 X, down X, down X. 2,000 years later. X down X. All right, that is everything. So make sure everything is checked. And once you've done that, you're going to hit left on the D-pad. And then scroll down to copy right here. 117 items are copied. Now we're going to go RB system. Now if you don't already have a folder called games, what you're going to want to do is go new directory on your hard drive. Then just hit X there, write games, boom, boom. Then you're going to hit start for done. However, I've already got it, so I'm going to hit B to cancel out. And then you're going to go into your new games folder. You're going to create a directory. Entitle this the name of the game. So... I'm just to have it show up at the top. I'm gonna do one COD. Boom, there it is. And then once you're in the folder of the game that you just created, you know, hit left, scroll down to paste, and then paste it. Boom. Now, if you are going to be adding mod menus, 
which I'm going to be showing you how to do for each of these Call of Duties, you're going to want them in this extracted disc format. Now, however, if you just want to be able to play the games from, uh, from Aurora, there's an easier way to do this. For that, you just go, go ahead and hit, uh, hit back and go down to scripts. You're going to need an internet connection for this, by the way. You can't do this without one. And then we're going to go to Aurora Repo Browser. Utility Scripts. And we are going to grab... There's this Aurora Disk to God installer by Phoenix. And... Yeah, that's about it. So we go open this. Do you want to install this? Yes, we do. So now we've got this Aurora Disk to God installer. God stands for Games on Demand. So we're going to select a directory. So let's do the one we just created in Games. We got one COD. When you're hovering over it, just hit select, I believe. Yeah. Create a title idea. The create content directories. Uh, sh yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Cool. So now it's going to transfer everything to that folder. However, this version will not work. If we plan on installing uh, mod menus. So the best way I recommend. For as for games that you do want to uh, modify the internal files for. We're going to hit up freestyle dash. Duke Nukem. Here we are. And if you don't have yours in Aurora, you can get to it by going back, File Manager, HDD1, FSD2, and hit X on default, XEX. That is if you followed all the guides up until now. You will have that there. So we're going into Freestyle. It's pretty basic. Pretty basic shit here. And we go to utilities, DVD extract. Boom, and it'll add it to the games folder. So HDD1 games, that is the folder we created. So we're going to hit start copy. And there we go. So adding everything each individual file this is the way we want it creates the folder for you um, and yeah is the easiest method of doing this so we're gonna go ahead and hit cancel again now we're gonna hit home hit Y okay for whatever reason this shot us back to the default dash, that's okay. I'm gonna go games, my games, Aurora. Okay, so we're back in Aurora. Now, if the game that you copied is not showing up in Aurora, the reason is because you have not added it as a directory yet. So in order to do that, just hit start. Uh, Scroll down to content, go to manage paths, add, and if you're using the same directories that FreeCell does by default and the one that we created earlier, you would just go to HDD1, scroll down to games, hover over it, and hit Y. Boom. Depth 2 is fine, and you can just set this, um, keep it at none, that's what I always do. 
hit save. It'll do a scan, add the artwork, and you are good to go. Now one last thing worth mentioning, if you're playing offline and you want to be up to date, let's say that's maybe like Dark Souls or something. So for Dark Souls, say you copied it, you don't want to go on Xbox Live with stealth or none of that, you can update it, just hit Y, go down to title updates, and then hit RB once to go to Unity Marketplace and it'll show you the available title updates. Now sometimes some are missing. Sometimes the Unity Marketplace isn't completely up to date. Um, but most of the time it is. So here is Dark Souls 1. So you would just hit X to download it. And then hit LB again for installed. And then you want to hit A on it so it's highlighted. And boom, you're good to go, up to date. And that is how you copy games, my friends. Um, on the next one, I'm going to be showing you how to install mod menus. Uh, nice, up to date version on how to do this. Because, uh, you know, most of the other ones are out of date. Dabbled around with quite a few, so I'm going to show you the best for all of the Call of Duty series as well as GTA 5. So stay tuned for that one and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe if you're new here. Leave a like cause uh, you know, appreciate it or dislike it, whatever. One of those. Give me, give me, give me something and I'll see you then there's other videos and uh, you know, uh, welcome to the nation. Philly D signing out. Bye bye.